What is Hyperion? Hyperion is a steel mega coaster located at Energylandia in Zatoll, Poland. The ride open to the public is Poland's tallest, fastest and longest roller coaster, as well as the tallest and fastest attraction of its kind within Europe as a whole. Hyperion debuted on the 14th of July 2018, nine months after construction first began. From a distance, it's safe to say that this ride looks tall. Energylandia's Intamin mega coaster stands 77 meters high, dominating the nearby skyline and stretching adjacent to the car park. However, as guests come closer to the attraction's entrance, they begin to learn more about its initially not so obvious theme. Interestingly, Hyperion is themed as space travel, more specifically, a mission to Hyperion, one of Saturn's many moons. To join the queue line, guests travel through the O in the large letters outside the station and begin to navigate the ride's main building. At this point, they encounter a multitude of projections and screens explaining their objective. Visitors are astronauts, destined to be part of the research mission to Hyperion aboard the spaceship Hyperion 1. It quickly becomes clear that guests are walking through what looks like a futuristic space station. Riders navigate a multitude of rooms, eventually entering the station building. At this point, visitors board one of two trains, each of which seat guests in seven rows of four. This leads to a total of 28 riders per train. Once everyone on board is ready, a countdown begins. At zero, guests leave the station building and instantly begin the long climb. The trains ascend to the ride's maximum point, placing them high above the rest of the park. Here, they crest the top of the lift hill and peek over the 82 meter drop. Riders then quickly plummet down at the maximum vertical angle of 85 degrees straight into a tunnel. It's at this point that the trains reach their top speed of 142 kilometers per hour. After traversing briefly underground, riders emerge from the tunnel into a large airtime hill. Several seconds later, guests quickly accelerate towards the ground all before climbing a second hill. This time, however, the trains whip to the right, inverting visitors into the ride's only inversion, a large dive drop. Once navigated, guests complete a high-speed leftward bank, followed by a small speed hill. They then ascend another large airtime hill. Seconds later, the trains bank left into an overbank turn, passing underneath the ride's lift hill. The majority of the later layout is then comprised of small speed hills, a series of whippy bank turns, and a final large airtime hill. Guests then pass through a series of water fountains before ascending into the ride's final brake run, marking the end of their experience. Over the course of a single ride, visitors navigate a total of 1,450 meters of track, all within approximately 48 seconds of actual ride time. Due to its moderate length and large train capacity, Hyperion has a throughput of roughly 1,300 riders per hour. Despite these impressive statistics, arguably the most interesting fact about this particular attraction is that it might not have even existed at all. Back in October of 2016, the park, Energylandia, posted two ride concepts for a new mega coaster onto Facebook. One of these concepts came from Hyperion's actual manufacturer, Intamin, while the other was from the Dutch firm, Vacoma. Both rides featured similar starts. However, Partway through the ride, the Vacoma concept focused more on tight twists and turns, while the Intamin design flowed through a less compact mixture of airtime hills and quick transitions. Energylandia then asked fans to vote for the concept they would like to see built at the park. As we know today, the Intamin ride won the vote, leading to a slightly modified design of the original concept being built, Hyperion. Overall, the park's largest roller coaster has been well received. Many praise the ride for its intensity and airtime. However, others raise concern, stating that despite its young age, the back of the train gives a noticeably rougher experience compared to the front. Nevertheless, Hyperion is overall seen as a fantastic roller coaster, offering a wide mixture of forces and exciting track elements. The fact that we, the public, voted for this attraction makes it ever so slightly cooler too. Would you like to see this voting process be repeated at other parks considering new rides? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all next time.